Bloody hell, what is that banging? I only picked it up from the garage an hour ago. This meat's really tough. What does beefsteak mean in French? I don't think this is beef at all. I think they've given me... They have. They've given me horse. Waiter! <laughs> well, hell of a day. Thanks very much indeed. Yes! Hey, what the hell? just completed a multi-million pound deal today. Pound? <laughs> you've lost like a fiver. for us war veterans, sir. <laughs> Lifeboat flag for those in peril on the sea. Just leave me alone, will you? <laughs> war cry, sir. Ready for the guy. Ready <laughs> for the guy, please. <laughs> what? What are you waiting for? Don't rush me. <laughs> Gareth, it's snakes and ladders. There's nothing to think about. <laughs> Just roll the dice. Oh, yeah, you'd like me to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just roll the bloody dice. All right, all right. Five. Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean, a five? Hmm. You don't have a choice. You move it five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Now then. Now then what? It's a bloody snake. You slip down. Oh, forget it, <laughs> Einstein. Let's play snap. We be waiting all day for my go otherwise. King of Diamonds. <laughs> Crying out loud. Why does it have to be bloody raining? Look, you can't see in front of your face. It's pouring down. Mm. Why can't the sun come out? Mm. How about Connect Four? Oh, come off it. We played Connect Four this morning. You got as far as Connect One. <laughs> Monopoly? It takes three hours to play Monopoly with an intelligent person. <laughs> oh, why is it raining? Sit down, mate. Right. I've got a game for you. What? Chess. Chess? If you have to think about snap, how are we going to finish a game of chess? It's easy. We put a time limit on it, OK? Right, you can go first. OK. Very shrewd, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said there was a time limit on every move. Yeah, 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, God! Hey, Gareth, it stopped raining. The sun's out. Look, you can see for miles, mate. Oh, great. No more stupid board games, eh? Right. Right. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. 
over here was the uh, kitchen area. Just here was the living quarters. And here, originally, was the entrance hall. That's the last time I'm renting a house of mine to bloody students. <laughs> Now we all know why we're here. To destroy Baron Frankenstein and his infernal monster! Yes! We will burn his laboratory and put an end to his inhuman experiments once and for all! Yes! So what are we waiting for? Yes! Hang on! Hang on! We've already done it! <laughs> what? Well, we burned his laboratory to the ground last Friday, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. I suppose we all better go home then. No, no! I've got a new torch and everything. I'm the Wolfman. The Wolfman? Half man, half beast. He prowls the outskirts of this village at night, hungry for warm, throbbing human flesh. Let's hunt him down. Yes! yes. That's the Wolfman! Yes. No, 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 wait, wait! We shot him last Wednesday. <laughs> No one told me. Oh, sorry. I thought Morris was going to pick you up. That was a really good night, actually. Yeah, it was. Ah! But did you use a silver bullet? Of course we did. Bastard. <laughs> I know. Ned, yesterday, your young virginal daughter went missing by the sinister castle of Count Yorga, didn't she? That's right. She was home by tea time. <laughs> well, what about this? What? The mark of the vampire. Yes. Oh. Hang on. That's a love bite. <laughs> well, it looks as though there's nobody left to lynch. We'll just have to go down to the local inn instead. No, 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 no. The beer tastes terrible. And the pies are all grisly. Death to the innkeeper! Yeah! You know, being a roadie, right, it can get to you after a while sometimes. I mean, like, humping sand equipment all the time. What do you get? Splinters. <laughs> I don't know, it's, um, difficult to say what makes a person your best friend. Common interests, old times, similar likes, similar dislikes, they all seem to combine to create this invincible bond between you. <laughs> One thing Barry's never been any good at is remembering the name of pubs. He's been like that since we became best friends. We have a good laugh about it, though. <laughs> at last, Barry, you said we're going to meet in the tiger's head, and this is the bull. 18 pubs I've been to. <laughs> I've got a pints, please. Uh, the usual there, and I'll have a usual as well, and uh, a usual for yourself as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look at this, look at this. Same clothes. <laughs> Same size clothes. <laughs> we could be taken for twins, we could. <laughs> hey, I've got your pint, mate. Don't worry, calm down. It's in your favourite mug. <laughs> The one I got you for our 25 years as best friend's anniversary. <laughs> All the times we've had, though, and the stories I could tell you about me and the big fella here. Look, I'm trying to talk business here. <laughs> Stick with this book. He will make you a million. Just listen to what he's got to say. <laughs> Can I get any of you guys a drink? Yeah, I have the same as you're having. Excuse me. The way he calls them in. <laughs> what a fantastic bloke. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. Oh, he bloody would. The bloody ferret. Look, I'm sorry, darling, but you're just going to have to join the back of the queue. Go on. Go and change your drawers. <laughs> Size of that. <laughs> I bet you did 
didn't need toys to play with when you were a little child. Hey, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> hey. Half of that would do for me. <laughs> Me and Barry's bent, oh na 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 Me and Barry's bent, oh na 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 Leave me alone! Yeah, come on fellas, give him a break. You've had him all night. <laughs> Not them, you Colin! I don't want you around me anymore. I don't want you impersonating me. I don't want your hero worship. I don't want your anything. In other words, Colin, get a life, you sad twat. <laughs> Nobody. I tell you, nobody gives a bollocking like Barry here. <laughs> oh, he's in a bit of a... Shut up! It's a shame about me and Barry falling out. But if I hadn't got the casualty, I'd never have met Carol. <laughs> I'm meeting Carol tonight. Down at the Tiger's Head. <laughs> At least I think it's the tiger's head. She's another one who can't seem to remember the name of pubs. <laughs> oh, Pete. How you doing? All right. How's your mother? Don't ask, mate. I had to get a new carburetor. Cost me a small fortune. Really? Why didn't you tell me I've got a mate who'd have done that for you for nothing? Yeah? Yeah. It's a bit late now, still. Say la vie. It seems we pay out all the time lately. New carpets. New carpets? Listen, I've got a mate who's a carpet fitter. He'd have done that for you for nothing. Yeah? Yeah. What sort of carpets you getting? What sort of greeny coloured sort of shag pile thing, isn't it? You're joking. <laughs> you just thrown a load of that out. <laughs> I'd have given it to you. Well, it's all academic now, and I. But what with that and the conservatory? Conservatory? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? How much you pay for that then? Two and a half grand. Two and a half grand? <laughs> oh, dear, dear me, Pete. Look, I've got this mate, right? Right, who could have done it for nothing. How come, whatever I do or whatever I buy, you always say, I've got a mate who could do that for nothing? After I've gone and paid out for it. Well, I don't know. I just got... Look, look. I'm going to get this patio laid, all right? OK, now, before I pay out for it, do you know anybody, anybody at all, who could do it for nothing? Any friends? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was lying. They finished it this morning. Cost me 800 quid. <laughs> 800 quid? <laughs> you got a bargain, mate. <laughs> well, Doctor, it's my wife, really. Uh... I've been putting it off, but uh, she insisted I come and see you. What's the problem? Well, it's, um... <clears throat> it's my penis. Mm. What about it? Can I have it back, please? <laughs> Yesterday, I reached a big four O. Not one person called me. No one said hello. But I did receive one birthday card, as you can plainly see. And it says, Happy birthday, with love from me to me. <laughs> People always pity me, say I'm a sorry son. But I am here to tell you that they're absolutely right. But you got to laugh, haven't you? Because I'm fat, bold and full too. Mrs. S. divorced me, Sandy lunch, damn me, man. Such a burger, I can't see my genitalia. Oh no, stand there, oh no, stand there, oh no, stand there, somewhere. <laughs> Curry, pizza, fish and chips, I love to cram them in. But well, my head is on the diet because my ear's gone thin. When I buy my trousers, I don't like the waistline. I 
affecting your mind is a complete load of rubbish. So how does he know then? Oh, why don't you ask him yourself? He's in here. <laughs> Friends, there ain't much that's certain in this life. Uh, hallelujah! But one thing is certain. We are all sinners. I am a sinner. Say it louder, Brother Jeremiah. I am a sinner. <laughs> Confess to me your sin, brother. Why? Brother Nathan, I'd have watched my next-door neighbor's wife or son and her finely curved body next to her guitar-shaped swimming pool. <laughs> oh, sinner. And then she did plunge herself into that pool. As she did so, she cast away her costume of decency and she started a skinny-dipping. Skinny-dipping sinner. Yeah. Her bikini atoll became the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Brother, the furnace of your loins must have been stokehead beyond belief. Early, Brother Nathan, she provoked the serpent of my swimming trunk. <laughs> oh, you lecherous, adulterous, sneak being pervert. <laughs> Tell me more. While her husband was a-toiling, dripping on a sweat over his advertising executive's desk, she beckoned unto me to join her in that libidinous lido, that pool of promiscuity. Mm, tell me, brother, did you succumb to the wicked ways of the wicked witch of the West? Hmm. Yes, I did. And for many hours we did thrash in the water of waywardness, like two frenzied eels tied in a reef knot. Oh, my brother, you have committed a heinous sin. What do you have to say to all the good people out there? The video is now available. <laughs> Send $100 now to praise the prophets and see the lay preacher in action. Send your cash in for the thrashing and the splashing. We should learn to take care of our environment. The North and South Poles are both shrinking. I'm not surprised. Cold water always does that to me as well. years of teaching you, your fathers, and some may even say your grandfathers, <laughs> I have reached my last day here at Mount Rise. Yeah, we've got something to say to you. Yeah, piss off, Mr. Chip. <laughs> Very well, thank you, Headmaster. <laughs> Look, me and the staff have got together. I'd like to uh, thank you for all the uh, 
stuff you've done for the school over the last 40 years and that. So I'd like to present you with, um... <clears throat> with this lamp. I, I really am quite touched. Thank you so much, Edmund. <laughs> Bless me, a fire. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's only old chicks. What a fag, sir. Uh, no, thank you. Now, you know it's against school rules to smoke. Oh, the doctor says I've got to smoke. It's for me asthma. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Chips, have you got a girlfriend? Come off it, so. You'd be like looking for a cotton bud in a grey Brillo pad. <laughs> Now, cut along, girls, or you'll miss your next period. I don't know. You'd never go mad. <laughs> <laughs> My God, dear. It's, um, chicken. at him anymore, see? But there are ways around it. You pass the ball as hard as you can. Now that can cause real damage. But it was just an accident, isn't it? So they can't touch you for it. <laughs> and what about you, Mr. Chips? Goodness gracious, Mr. Are you I... part of phallic authoritarianism? <laughs> <laughs> Typical of a spineless male. Dodging the fundamental sexual injustices because you happen to be a member of a penis-toting dictatorship. <laughs> yeah, we won't put up with your male-inflicted stereotyping any longer. Better rush off for my home economics class. My macaroons will be burnt. What's that doing in there? Mr. Chippenham. Bye, Mr. Chips. See you for Michaelmas term, sir. Bye, Mr. Chips. Mr. Chips! Mr. Chips! What is it, Patterson? If you don't give me a fiver, I'm going to tell the old Bill that you touched me up. Welcome to the wonderful world of wine. What is that magical process of wine making? Well, with me tonight, I have an expert. This is Henri Navet. Henri, what are you going to show us first? Uh, how you say, um, grapes? You're going to show us how to tread the grapes? Uh, no, monsieur. Uh, grapes, I have uh, the hemorrhoids. 